What's up guys, Amogis back in the game and it's finally here. The third and final episode of the main story. Life is strange before the storm. There will be one more episode, they announced it already. Um, we're, we're playing Max when she's still young. I'm really looking forward for that to, to that one. But what I'm dying to know now is what's going to happen here. Because the last episode ended with a major cliffhanger. I'm really curious and I really want to know how far this game will go. I mean, we all know what happens to Rachel if anyone doesn't know. I'm not telling you yet, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that everyone knows this. Um, but yeah, I'm really curious how this will end. So without further ado, let's go. Episode 3, Hell is Empty. Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is wailing. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw... That wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. I want to tell you all of it. About fucking are you time. Sure that Chloe should be here for Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the overlook, her name is Sarah. Your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. I'm here for you. I'm right here. Good. I need you. Oh boy. You know what? I still regret not choosing the kiss in the other episode. Hold this down and press S to join Rachel. in high school 
There was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Actually, this perfectly describes Rachel at her current state. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. Over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. wrong. Eventually I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. Holy shit, this is really intense already. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel? It was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again. And again. To keep you safe.
I don't really think it's fair towards Rachel, to be honest. To lie to her for so long. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not? Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel, I think I need to lie down. Understandable. Definitely. I mean, holy shit, think about realizing this after 15 fucking years. This is insane, seriously. Right, now we're alone I, down here. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. How awkward. So have a look. Max! I used to think the strangest thing about the Ambers was how normal they were. Why is this Max? <laughs> I kind of like that. Um, so, let's see. Group SMS. What the fuck happened here? Holy shit. Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest cast party. I already texted Rachel like eight times. Hey, I don't think we're making it. Chloe, you should come. Yeah, Chloe, you did awesome, babe. <laughs> hey, Chloe, great job tonight. Thanks, I can't. But you totally saved us. Without you here, would have been no show. Seriously, just come. Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. Won't be able to. I wonder what James is thinking right now. <sighs> um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. <laughs> I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. Shouldn't that be up to Rachel? What are you afraid Sarah would do? I, I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah, but Rachel's not a baby Listen anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety of first. Of course. Yeah, try the truth. Maybe try the truth for a change? What do you mean? Well, you did lie to your daughter for 15 years. This is true. And that's why I need your help. 
I only care about Rachel, Chloe. I'll do what I can. I care about her too, you know? I know. Thank you. Not gonna lie to her. Definitely not. Holy shit. Rachel completely destroyed that table. Well, understandable. Let's be serious about this. Who wouldn't have? Strange Before the Storm, Episode 3, Hell is Empty. I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Be here for Rachel. Great objective. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Rachel's surrounded by so much love. Yet she seems so uh, alone. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. <laughs> I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Cool light. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. The ying and badass yang of Rachel Amber. We were so close to making our break last night. Now... I don't know. Is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? <laughs> no? Probably not. May you always be safe. Sure. Sure. What's that? Huh. Look at that. Rachel might not survive her family, but at least she'll survive the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> That's important. Where will you be when the zombie apocalypse happens, huh? Mom! Please, Chloe, I miss you. I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you don't have your key. Please come home, it Those mat doesn't matter that it's after curfew. Mom, I can't right now. Please. Oh, What, kind of kidnapped? What was that? Were you in the play tonight? I would've liked to see that. Kind of just- oh, alright, that was about that. What's in the drawer? We can I rewind. Can like this. Should be careful. I just don't want to. Rachel's always made being an A student seem so... easy. Almost sad to see all this. Hard to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Seems like everything has changed since then. Yep. <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. <laughs> I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. 
weird. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. Probably. Oh, let's make a graffiti. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. <laughs> Something Rachel said. On stage, I think Rachel said. American graffiti. The corners of the world are mere prologue. Nice. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. They would better not. Let's, let's face it, they would better fucking not. I don't want to think about it. I really don't want to think about it. This light needs more light. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Wonder what I could find around here to... Let's brighten this up a little bit. How about that? It's perfect. <laughs> All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Hey, Rachel. I'm glad you're here, Chloe. Of course. Check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? It remind us there's so much beauty out there, which we almost never see. Sometimes we see it. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. This does suck. <laughs> No, they're still beautiful. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful. Right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'm on. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. 
I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. The music in this game is always so fitting and perfect. The fact that she's here right now. That she came here. For me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Actually, I don't think so. It can't hurt to meet her. Of course not. But it, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah, that's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Don't worry. I got this. Let me handle it. Really? Really. <laughs> Mysterious. I like it. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I've got that one too. Don't worry. I've got that one covered too. You do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. It's just like I told that biker dude at the mill, who was a lot scarier than this mom of yours could ever be. <laughs> there could be flamethrowers, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash between you and her. And I would still find a way to get you there. <laughs> Chloe fucking Price. My magical Shakespeare fairy. Shut up. <laughs> but once we find her... Uh, how do I talk to her? What do I say? You will know by then, I'm sure. After my dad died. I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking... Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. And they fell asleep.
Oh. Yeah. Definitely. Nice audience. Uh, I think we're stuck. Yep. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Or my memories. Well, your memories? We never... That wasn't... You. Hmm. Could have sworn that was me. Alright, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? What's wrong? so weird. Don't you see anything? Seriously. Oh, here it is. Fine. It's... The spark plug. No, <laughs> that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. K Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. The world's a stage. Something I guess about the whole world being a stage. So might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. Nailed I don't it. Want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, Maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. But it already happened. Floodlights, sound effects. Chloe, look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Holy shit. I like the boo at the end. Wait, what the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait. It was a mess it before. Let's face it. Motherfucker. 
Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've got to help Rachel. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. Yep. I can do Let's this. Be careful about this. We can't fuck this one up. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? I can explain. So, uh, the situation was a lot more complicated than you told me. What are you talking about? I promise I can explain. I... I have a favor to ask you first. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? Me in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real. That went well, I guess. I'm not sure about it. Let's let's wait for the meeting what first. What am I getting myself into? Come on, let me read it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dude. Stop. Stop. I hate this. You can't read this properly. Um. Right. Thank you for being there for me last night. I'm feeling a lot better. Guess what? Huh? You already missed me. <laughs> okay, that. Also, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. I think again he can get us in touch with Sarah. Holy shit. Yep, I'm still at my house. Just charring then grabbing tools for the truck. So, meet at junkyard? I'll be there. You're amazing, Chloe Price. Nice. Okay, I've got two hours to kill. I'm about to rack up a lot more absences. That doesn't look like Rachel's. Not at all. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. Huh. Almost forgot I had this. I haven't played with it since, uh, ever. California, huh? Would be cool to see where Rachel grew up. Yep. Definitely. So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. Have I ever looks like that? it? Probably not. Doesn't really look like it. Uh, better than nothing. <laughs> not a good idea. <laughs> oh well, Doctor. All right. We all know what it's supposed to be. <laughs> if Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. <laughs> Sorry, Ward. I've got a real ride to fix up now. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Figures. 
Winchester High School gives Fisher Award to Sarah Gerhardt. What the fuck is this? They have to know um, her. What? Is that the one? Probably. Victoria Chase commented on a photo you tagged in. Click on the following link. I want to follow the fucking link. Nice to see my work is appreciated. Ah. <laughs> Just in case you need a more proof that Blackwell is better off without Chloe Price, so that's what girls take forever doing in the bathroom. Mad respect. No one asks you, Trevor. Burn. Steph. Wow, Chloe, that was classy. <laughs> All right. Is mom playing music? Huh. What? 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 You're so dead? Ugh, come on. This is really annoying. Why can't I just read this? So, so I was right all along. Rachel Lambert is a fucking evil bitch. Oh yeah, she totally is. I guess you think you're her little sidekick now. Yep. I've had it with this school. Nobody gave a shit about me last night. It was all Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Oh man, when you try to drug someone and then it bites you in the ass. That's just the worst. Fuck you, Chloe. Well, fuck you too. Is that... David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay... Oh, my well. towel's prob... Maybe mom threw my towel in here. Nope. No awesome Empty. pirate towel. I truly hate... Seeing so much of David's shit around here. Lots of washcloths. No towel. And pilts. Gross. Manly grip. Really. Is. Nice. Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was Whoa. going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Now it's happening. The blue hair. Awesome. For the best shower of my life. Let's just hope David didn't shower with the fucking soap. I mean, yeah, in the end, he w cared about her, but well, right now, he's just an asshole. Let's face it. Oh, why didn't she do this in the shower? It looks pretty cool. Hold on, what? That's all? I thought she would go fully blue. Like Marge Simpson again. What 
do I feel like wearing on this busy-ass day? Oh, look at that. Bonus outfits, dragon. Bonus outfit, skull. What about the bonus outfit? Bird skull, classic, oh I want the classic Chloe. Like before, I like it. No, it's fine. All right, one last thing. I need to get dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's yep. toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Need to be careful, we can't get caught. I really wanted her to go fully blue. Come on. A little bit disappointed right now, to be honest. No way. Mom actually sold her ring? No. Fuck. That's really Sports fucked up. cars are really good for... Hitting on chicks. <laughs> I don't know, really, you... How can Hitting you sell... Chicks. <laughs> How can you sell your ring... If the person who gave it to you died, seriously. I remember this. Mom loved it. Wait, is today Mother's Day? Shit. Oops. <sighs> Can I just give that to Mom again for Mother's Day? No. Or can we? I remember this. Mom loved it. Wait. Oh boy. Mother's Day. What do we do? We Shit. need to. We need to Tiefen find something. We need something to give to her. What was that? His pawn stash? Hopefully not. I wonder who gave this to mom. Oh boy. Bad I choice really of book. Hate that mom keeps hiding this photo. Yeah, seriously. Just put it on the fucking night table again. I really, I seriously hate David. Right at this point. I mean, in the end, he would die to save Chloe. But yeah, right now he's just an asshole. Let's, let's face it. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Oh, we can Someone do graffiti have... on that. I didn't what see do this I before. Want the record to show? Burning or burnout? Let's do burning. Burn, 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 the ring of fire, the ring of fire. Alright, I stopped singing. I know. I shouldn't do this. Peer I'd review. <laughs> I went down in a place of glory. You, you could, but you could not as well. <laughs> Box? What's that? Still can't. Fucking believe that David went through my stuff. That little prick. Alright, I don't have anything from Mother's Day. I, I can't find anything. God damn, maybe we will blah, blah, blah. maybe we will find something downstairs. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? <laughs> <laughs> I'm flipping them over. 
<laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Hey, who's there? Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I... I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I, uh... I have to go. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. Should we tell her we should tell her? Really, she is just worried. We're hanging out with Rachel. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh! How is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. Oh, God. This, it won't take but a minute. This doesn't end well. I know it. Really. Mom. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. <sighs> Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. <laughs> really? What? What does that mean? <sighs> it means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. So, if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. Even though she had pot yesterday. David, the idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. I don't know if he really did. Um, I don't want to accuse him and in the end it wasn't him. It probably was him, but still. I don't want any fuss now, so great plan, guys. Well, this sounds like it's doomed to fail, but hey. Kudos for trying. Chloe. What? I really meant it. Good job. Can we be done now? Wait. One second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been... 
meaning to show you something. Maybe... Maybe now's a good time. This... is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was... killed... near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to... joke about all the trouble we were gonna get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? That's actually Here. pretty nice. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. This is a really nice move from him. David looks so young. <laughs> and this Phil guy... They look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. The train. We have some good and some bad memories with that fucking train. Well, maybe not with that one specifically, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Cute fucking squirrel. Nice. With me here. Damn it. <laughs> Oops. Better. But still needs a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. No problem. We got this. We got this. David! Chloe, this is David. Did my mom give you my number? Yes, she did. I noticed you took your father's toolbox. Are you working on a project? Sort of. 
What kind of project? Sorry I'm a little busy right now. Well, I'm glad to see you taking an interest in something. Keep it up. Actually, he might be able to help. But we got this. No problem. Check the manual. It's not like I need a manual. No. But I'm really glad it's here. <laughs> I guess so. So first, I can't read this shit. Context. Remove carbon buildup lubricate with dielectric grease. What? The fuck did it say? Turn the fucking radio on. Um? It's not like I need a manual. But I'm really glad it's here. Oh, distributor cap. Alright, that's that's about this. Alright. Distributor cap. Hi fans. Now skip. I understand you work as a security guard at Blackwell Academy. Is that true? Uh yeah. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. That's true. I need something small to scoop the gunk off the cap. At the plan skip? Uh um, <laughs> Dad would have liked like the that. idea of me using his the tools intent. to fix a ride. We're about to play a Definitely. Use the screwdriver for this. What I want you to do is crank that stereo up as loud as it goes. If anyone complains, what do you tell him, Skip? Uh, his head rules. Nailed it. All right, that looks like it worked. Keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. What did you do now? Alert system. Air quality. All right. Go back from once you came. All right, nice. It's what was not that? like I need a manual. Bottle body, really what? Yeah. yeah, I really don't know what, how this is supposed to help. Um, I don't care. Let's let's just like wait. Intake tube. I've read it's this here. Not like I need a manual. Intake pipe is only really there. All right. So contact. Intake manifold, throttle body, vacuum pipe, intake pipe. I have no idea. It looks like someone tried to patch this thing up sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. Yep. So, check the battery. Please don't kill this yourself. Is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. No problem. Got the pliers. There. Fits like that. Deadly electric glove. This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? Let's use the wrench for it. <sighs> Much better. Nice, almost done. Up. 
Maybe. <laughs> Whoa! It did the trick. Looking good. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Oh, of course. There should be no spare parts around here. Oh, the fire in the background. Holy shit. Please? I need you. Nice! It works! Crash it. Junkyard Queen, <laughs> where are you at? Hey, holy shit, your hair, it's so blue, <laughs> badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot, but yeah, badass too. <laughs> hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? I don't have it. For fuck's sake, the money wasn't there. What do you want from me? I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Oh boy. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, Suddenly, it's a whole other thing.
Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah. Yeah. It's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now why you give a shit about this woman. Why do you care so much? Why do you care so much? Because fuck you. I'm asking the questions here. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. We know. We were aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Uh! <laughs> <laughs> no need to get crazy. Careful. Oh, you fucking bitch. Grab the fucking knife, Chloe. What the fuck? Rachel! What the fuck? Chloe! Go! Now! Oh shit, why didn't Chloe take the fucking knife?
Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? I'm trying to figure that out. I don't, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. Do you know who Damon Merrick is? Or why he hates you? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? He wanted to scare us away. I, I think he wanted to scare us so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that how it became violent? He wanted dirt on you. When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? Oh, and it's not really her fault. She just called her Rachel. That was it. So maybe he already knew. I, I don't know. Maybe he's seen her before. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. And we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something. But when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream, but I don't know what happened. And then, we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. Well, what about both of them? But yeah, first of all, what about Damon? What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Hey. Steph. How's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. 
you should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. I don't know if that's such a good idea. He's here because of us. I mean, yes, he said it was the right thing, but still. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Good idea. Yeah. Are these all firefighters? Probably. And it's all a fucking fault. Mom brought so many of these home when Dad died. And not a single one described how I felt. Oh, can't behind can't go behind the counter. Sean Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? Is this for real? One of our current patients is Andrew Norv, a student at Blackwell Academy was injured on school grounds. As the physical safety of its students is a core responsibility of any school, Blackwell has failed Mr. North in this instance. I would therefore like to personally and as stress anonymously cover his medical expenses. If I may have insistence in speeding the process, do not hesitate to contact me. Of course he doesn't want this to be anywhere. That fucking prick. Alright then. Thank you. Hi, Mr. North. That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. I'm the reason he is in here. Yeah. Oh, well, th well, nice meeting you. Well, it was nice meeting you. Likewise. Oh, excuse me. Hey! You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Drew. How's your knee? How's your knee doing? Do they think it's gonna heal? Uh... I'm not sure, actually. It's too early to tell. Sorry to hear it. It's it's all good. Hmm. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. You should try it. I bet you'd look cool with a little color. Yeah? I'll have to think about it. Maybe something red? Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon how'd she get hurt you'll think i'm joking when i tell you but i'm not what happened she got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking merrick seriously it, it wasn't because of me was it No, we have our own problems. No. Somehow we've got our own shit with him now. That's crazy. Fuck that guy. I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Uh, I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Don't have too much money now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. See ya, Pops. Man. Maybe... I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Are you going to eat that pudding? I think the football team needs thicker helmets. <laughs> Heard you lost your balls, Congress, on your vasectomy. Yep. 
Definitely <laughs> too many concussions. Now you can play without fear. Oh boy. Well, everyone knows how it's meant, so yeah. I think no one is going to be pissed about this. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. I guess so. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. Of course, it's his football I star. I wonder if Drew will ever play again. Hopefully, really. That'll be an interesting read. Why are you still taking the exam on Monday? <laughs> Juliet. Ooh, I want to eat that right now. Looks really good. Those must be from Steph's parents. Hey. Sorry for losing it there. It's nice of you to come by. Feel better. I I mean no pressure. I I know it's going to take a while. You know what? I'm kind of tired. Oh. Uh right right. I'll um I'll leave you alone. Well, Mayor should have said something else. Do leave me alone. I'm sorry. Damn. An eight out of ten. Oh boy. I really hope that prick All right. Damon gets I'm gonna head out. A taste of his it own was medicine. Really to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Yeah. Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. You bet. Chloe, this is Mr. Amber. Rachel's just waking up now. I'm sure she'd love to see you. Well, thanks. Where's her room? Those guys look exhausted. You mean it's controlled? No, it's completely. It extinguished itself. But extinguished itself. Hey. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Me too. Me too. You've grown so close, haven't you? Yeah. It's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Well, it was one hell of a day. Holy shit. Dad. I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back. 
in a little while. My guardian angel. How are you? How are you? Not great. Better with you here. Rachel. I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I just, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. Hopefully. Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean... I'm still mad at him. For everything he's done. But... It felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like, on Mount Hood. <laughs> Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. Mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. I figured you would. I figured you would. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is... Will you find her, please? You really want this. Don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes, I bet my dad has her number, maybe in his office, our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your, your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe. For... Everything. Well, was a hard day for her. Looks like she needs some rest. Understandable. So let's leave. And break into her dad's office. Which is a stupid idea, but we're still going to do it. Uh, um, what are you looking hey, for? Hey, Elliot. Hey. Wait. Your hair, it's... 
different. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it, it's nice. How have you been? Uh, how have you been? Like, uh, since last night? Holy shit. The Tempest was just yesterday? Yes? Uh, so much has been happening lately. I, I actually brought Rachel here just a while ago, but it feels like forever. What? Rachel's here? What happened? Let's keep it private. I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay, though. Well, that's good. God, I guess I'll stop by after I see Drew. She probably wants privacy. Oh. Right. Of course. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. What do you mean? What? I don't even know what you mean. It's kind of weird that Rachel's being so private, isn't it? No, it's really not. Chloe, I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? So? Obviously, something is going on. What? No. It's really okay. I swear, man. Everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Good to know. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. That was weird. I don't know what he really wanted to say. Hello? Oh boy, they will come home while we're here and then we're in big trouble again. I know this. Seriously. I heard a phone. I need to search this office for any communication with- James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Yep. We don't want the data award. A locked drawer. What is that file about? James sure keeps lots of files on people. Service award. Well, I'm fucking not gonna be able to smash my way through this one. Nope. Hopefully, there's a key around somewhere. Gotta be.
We can't leave a graffiti here. More sherry. You will notice. <laughs> no, I would really love to. But. No. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. James, this is enough. When you told me at the park that you weren't going to let me be a part of Rachel's life, of course I was angry, but I understood your need to protect her. It's your prerogative as a parent. I have no idea what that word means. But sending that man to talk sense into me, threaten me, you're losing the moral high ground here. What kind of a way is that for a DA to act? What would the voters say? I have the right to meet my daughter and the lawyer I spoke with agrees. But more importantly, Rachel has the right to know who her mother is. To know the truth. Do what you know is right. Sending that man to talk sense into me. What the fuck did he do? Like, seriously. Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? I'm thinking about it right now. I... Who's Sheldon? I have no idea. There gotta be a key somewhere. Guys, Dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. I heard it. Hmm. There is something. Take it apart. Yep, there's a key in there. Definitely. Found you. Look at that. What, Mikey? Mo hey, Chloe, thanks again for visiting. Drew says good luck out there. Thanks, good luck to him too. Chloe? Yeah? You're stronger than anything. I hope so. Yep, definitely hope so. Welcome to Shadyville. What's in there? James's stamp collection. Probably not. His phone. Look at that. have to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. So, what do we have here? I'm told you can help me with my problem. Crossing the line, eh? Let's talk. We'll call tonight. I found who you were looking for. Call you in 15. Well, this isn't a charity. I'm gonna need you to do what we talked about. I can. Sure you can, because I talked to your girl and she has a big mouth. Turns out she's not so easy. We're going to need to be more hands-on. Don't hurt her. Relax. I've got my best guy on it. Who? How's your daughter? You know she attacked me first, right? She really should. You really should teach her to behave better. Nothing. Guess you don't need this taken care of anymore. All right. This is definitely Damon. Holy shit. James is working with Damon Merrick? This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? You will pay. I don't think we should do this. Where's Sarah? So, we're using names now. Relax, man. It's simple. Either you do what I want or your little problem becomes a big problem. Now, did you take care of the evidence or not? Shit. What do I say? Huh? 
I don't know, you first. I know you knew at this, so I'll give you a pass. Don't fuck with me. Let's see proof of the evidence. What? Hope James actually has this evidence. Of course don't he think has. Damon will tell me where Sarah is. Of course Unless he has. I send him a picture. Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? Hold on, where is the... James sure keeps lots of files on people. Where is the file of him? Oh, probably this. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Right, there gotta be a file about Damon in here. We need to find that one. This must be what Damon was talking about. Shit. Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just take a wild guess and see what he says. Did Damon really shoot someone? <sighs> guess I shouldn't be surprised. Could this be the evidence? Damon and Knives seem like a solid bet. Thomas Lumber? I don't think so. Did Damon really shoot someone? Huh. If TV has taught me anything, these babies will be swimming in DNA. Oh boy, I have no idea. What could he be talking about? They were all found in the Did same Damon place. Did really Damon someone? So I shouldn't be surprised. Eli Forbin. Could this be the evidence? Huh. If TV has taught me anything, these babies will Might be, be this. Yeah, it's the only where his DNA would be on. Yeah, now you fucking destroy it. Why are you so bad at this? I'll get right on that. If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Make Arcadia Bay's least wanted. How do we destroy a glove? If it can rain ash, I guess it could snow in LA. Probably. Waste basket, yeah, let's burn the fucking glove. I don't really know if we should do this. Maybe it's a bad idea. It's the only thing we can do. This is a wooden basket. Take the picture. Oof. Better not touch that again. This might become a problem in the end. I don't like this. I'm taking care of it. Good. So. Since you're destroying evidence, might as well tell me which of my guys was the snitch. I have no fucking idea. No more. Come on. Where is she? No more games. Sorry, Chief, but I think you're gonna do what I asked. Tell me who it is, or maybe you'd rather deal with your problem yourself. Damn. Maybe the Sheldon. I hope James has something here to... Tell me who Damon's informant is. Mom! Planning supper, what time do you think he'll be home? Don't wait for me. Sweetheart, we don't get enough family time as it is. 
Does Rachel want to join us? She's very welcome too. Mom, I just can't make it tonight, sorry. Chloe, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay. Love you. Love you too. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching? Okay. There's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. So special drug dealing. I love learning about his badass loitering charge. <laughs> this is that freak from the mill. It has been very cooperative. I what Damon would think of his no very cooperative check. comment. Yep, I think it was that one. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Definitely. Who is this? Guess I'm lucky James keeps so much info at home. Guess I'm lucky James keeps so much info at home. Who was this about? I agree to aid the courts on future cases. Gerald Scott. That could be seen as a little snitchy. I have no fucking idea. I don't want to bring anyone in trouble or to kill anyone because of this. Hope James doesn't really get Damon off the hook. That dude's gotta pay. He's gotta pay? Oh! Do we, we still have letters in there. Sarah sent all these letters. The Sarah in this letter doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night. Cease and resist. Unlawfully denying contact between Sarah, Gerard, and Rachel Amber. Alright. Yeah. So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. Yep. Looks like it. Oh boy. More Sherry. I have no idea. Oh man. This guy's the snitch? He was so cool to me at the mill. Wonder if there's someone else I could pin it on instead. Highly corroborative source of information. Well. But he this was is that freak from the mill. cooperative as well. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. View phone. How do I write something? Seriously. Or did I miss anything? What's that? I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. <laughs> Definitely. Looks like a recent email from Ray. Oh, man. This guy's the snitch? He was so cool to me at the mill. Wonder if there's someone else I could pin it on instead. What a cues? Okay, if I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm... I have no idea. Guess this explains why Mr. Amber knows so much about Frank. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. I totally knew this guy was a criminal when I stole from him. <laughs> I have no idea. I will I will go with him, I guess. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? I have no fucking idea. 
It's most probably something. Informant is Sheldon Pike. Shit, really? I barely know that guy. And now he's gonna wish we never met. Good work. Oh shit. Guess all that leaves is our hand off. Show me you have my payment, I'll tell you where we meet. Oh. Really? Payment? Fuck. I have. How much? The exact amount your pig stole from me. That's not helpful. Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. But where would it be? Feels a little weird having this guy's records at my fingertips. Yep. I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Look at that. She's really good at finding these things. Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Alright, good work. And now here's your girl, ready to go. Fuck, that's Sarah. Holy shit. And she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Bring me the package and we can finish the job. Let her go. I'm calling it off. Let her go. Cold feet, huh? You really are new at this. How about I leave her body on your doorstep? Bring me the cash, then we can talk. Holy shit. Fuck. Does James even know what he's doing? I don't think so. Okay. I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Hey. Elliot. That mini flag. Away. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? I can't really talk about it. Rachel. Rachel needs my help. I'm sure she does. I'm more concerned about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe, what is... Ah. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? It's serious. I, I... I can't tell you, but obviously this is pretty serious shit. That's why I need to leave right now. You mean serious for Rachel, right? But... but you're the one putting yourself in danger. Again! I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. <laughs> When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You, you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. She saved me. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop. Stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The for... next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. She defended me. R Rachel was there for me. She did everything she could to protect me. I guess it wasn't enough, huh? 
You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? God, oh, look. I, I'm sorry I ditched you for the play, but... This isn't about that. S seriously, man. Y you need to shut the fuck up before... I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot. I, I promise. N no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. Hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened. Stalker much? No, I appreciate the concern. Look, I, I hear you. I, I appreciate the concern. I don't think you do. Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. What? Are you for real? Elliot, please. I know you're upset, but... Ugh, I'm not upset! I'm trying to help you. No, you're not. Let's call for help. Elliot's gone full blown crazy. I. I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me! We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm oh, right. Oh, I do. All right, Elliot. Y you want to talk so bad? Let's talk. To succeed in back, don't listen to your opponent and choose a related comeback. What's really going on here? You can tell me. You mean here? Specifically? Like, uh, the Amber House? I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. I feel threatened. You're right, Elliot. I didn't want to admit it before, but it's true. My life is in danger. Thank you, Chloe. All I want is to help you. I'm glad you can finally see that. Help me, please. You're right. This whole thing has been a cry for help. Help me. Help me now! Hey, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. I wish I could leave. I yes. feel trapped. Boxed in. I desperately want to leave this situation. It takes a lot of guts to tell me all this. And I want you to know that I will always be there for you no matter what it's the police okay don't panic uh, I'm sure they'll just want to ask us why we're here what do we do I'll talk to them. Uh, you do that. Shit. Um, there's nothing to be concerned about. Thank you, Elliot. You're a 
great friend. Well, he brought it on to himself, let's be serious about it. Why was he so crazy all of a sudden? Seriously. Now, fast. I love the music in this game, it's really really awesome. I know, I say this every time, but I really love it. Watch the fucking road! Holy shit! Rachel got angry at her dad, who's been lying to her all her life, and he's still lying. Hey, being a dad's tough. That doesn't justify what he's done. I'm just saying, I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Hey, dad? Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for mom wasn't a piece of crap. <laughs> I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I suppose everyone lies. I suppose everyone lies about big things. I mean, the stuff mom doesn't know about me. So you probably lied too. Would you love me less? It depends what it was, really. I guess it depends on what it was. That's the trouble. Sweetheart, the truth's risky, and the idea of you loving me even a little less, I don't think I'd ever want to risk that. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Yeah. We need to know. Everyone should know everything about being lied about. Being lied to about anything, seriously. Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. So how am I supposed to tell you anything? That actually, yeah, it makes things a little bit harder. I agree. I wish you would you told me. I wish you told me. When you could have. You don't like the perfect relationship we had? I wish you'd lived long enough for us to fuck it up. No worry. My ride, my tunes. Seriously going in to face Damon Merrick? All for Rachel. Am I crazy? Hella crazy. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. I like the company. Besides, you don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. 
things are about to get real. Is that blood? Whoa. Frank? Frank! This is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. Sarah? That is a really good question. Where's the homicidal drug dealer, spooky deerhead? Damn. Frank's couch is toast. This place was hit pretty hard by the fire. Don't tell me what to do. Hmm. Glad to see the bone made it. Well, at least one thing survived. Oh, the knife. Yes, we need that. Gotta believe me, I na I'm not a goddamn snitch. Who the fuck told you that? Oops. Can we unlock this? Where's the homicidal drug dealer, spooky deerhead? Right. We Everything's going to be just fine. Just a little longer and all your troubles are going bye-bye. What the fuck? I just want to meet my daughter. Can't you understand why does your he daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know. The mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to- Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. After all, no one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I've got your money. I've got your money right here. 
The money James owes you? How the fuck do you- Run! No one has to know. Just... Just let her go, and I won't say- <sighs> That son of a bitch. Talking's over. Leave her alone! Shut up. What the fuck? You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just... trying to help. Get away from her! I said shut the fuck up! No! Go to your fucking happy place. Run. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with- Damon! What did you do? Ho 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 ho. I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. That fucking asshole. I don't really know if the knife would have really helped us. Frank. Where's Frank? Or, or Damon? Your friend, Frank, took care of Damon. You don't need to worry about them right now. Sit. Sarah. Are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry for- Rachel can never know. About what? What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with- <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel can never know. That's bullshit. That's bullshit, Sarah. You're not listening. Rachel deserves to know what happened to you. No, she doesn't. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar! James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here, and you'll take that away from her. Forever. Actually, she deserves the truth. Her, fa her father needs to be put into jail. And she deserves to meet her. And just what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. 
He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. Everybody's broken. Everybody's broken, Sarah. Oh? Does everybody abandon their own child for 15 years? Does everybody take money to stay away? You're here now. That's what matters. What do you know? I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. Actually, both. I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store and a truck ran a red light and that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. You're quit for you. Rachel needs you. I, I... I don't know anything about addiction. But I know what it's like to be needed by someone. It gives you strength you never knew you had. Rachel needs you. Rachel needs her family. I... I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home. Given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her she's felt like something's been missing her whole life she told me so that something was you she didn't miss anything she has a perfect family they are far from perfect I don't know what to choose I used to think my dad was perfect, but now I realize he was probably just as messed up as everyone, and it doesn't make me love him any less. That's a nice thought. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <sighs> He doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? Remember your letter. The worst mistake you ever made was giving Rachel up. That's what you said in your letter to her. You read that. You don't have to make the same mistake twice. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing 
I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Wait! Don't leave. Don't go, Sarah. I'm done here. Goodbye, Chloe. That is really, really hard. I mean, I know it doesn't have any consequences anymore, but still. I really hate her father. Like, really. He wanted to kill Hello? her real mother. Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later. Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed? <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe another tat is in order. <laughs> to go with the one you gave me. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So, how did everything go? Rachel, I've got to tell you something. I don't want. I don't want to make the decision. That is really fucked up. I mean, I get... I get the argument about taking her father away. But he hired... someone to... kill her, if I got this correct, or at least... to... get her out of sight. Like, to get her in jail or anything. This is fucked up. This is seriously fucked up. I would really love to just tell her everything. I mean, really, protect her from the truth seems so wrong to me, so I will... Yeah, let's, let's be honest with her.
shit. All the devils are here before the storm. I'm not really sure if that was a good decision. Oh boy. Nathan, I don't know, he seems like... He seems like a nice guy, a little bit shy and everything. I can't believe that he will do what he will do. But I think it was the right thing to tell her the truth in the end. It might be hard, but she deserves the truth. No one deserves to be lied to, seriously. There it is!
That was it. Episode 3. Hell is empty. I would really like to know if she met her mother in the end. Probably not, which is pretty sad to be honest. I mean, I don't really like this ending because... Um... Yeah. I really would have liked more information about what happens that leads towards her death in the end. I mean, about her be ge getting missing anything, like from, from her point of view maybe what would happen, how she got involved in all of this. I would have really appreciated this, but I like this episode. It was an end. Um, nothing's not that much is open anymore, so I really, I really like this, and I'm, I'm happy with the decision of telling her the truth in the end. Seriously. So, I really don't know what else to tell about this. I, don't, I understand that now. I understand a lot better that Chloe and Frank are really pretty close, as close as you can get with Frank. Um, in in the other game, but I really don't see Frank and Rachel together. Maybe it happened after this. I don't know. But yeah, that's something. I I really Rachel is a really complicated character in the end. Maybe she was fake and an actor completely and lied to Chloe a lot. I don't know if she just used her and played with her. I, I really don't know. It seems a little bit like it, but she really seemed happy and Chloe seemed happy as well, so... Yeah, it's... it's I don't know, it's really complicated. I would, I would really like more about this. I know this isn't any more about this for now. Maybe there will be. I would really, really hope so. Like, more background. I'm, I'm really caught into this now. I really want to know more about it yeah as i said there will be another episode out but nothing about this story there will be something separate with max and chloe being yeah still kids so i'm really looking forward to that to see what what they <laughs> what they were up to back in the day i'm i'm really curious yeah, there will be more of this, and there will be the decision screen in the end. So I'm really curious if we did everything and how. I don't know. I've pl I've the game was released and I instantly downloaded and played it. I don't know how many people have actually finished it by now. Like m only those who have faster internet speed than I do, because really I downloaded and instantly played it. So I don't know how many, um, how many data this game already has. And yeah, I lost my internet connection for a short time, but it's back. I just see that. Uh, maybe we see some comparison to other players. Maybe not. We will see. So I will see you in the decision screen.
Here we are. There isn't that much to compare. You told Rachel the truth, or you didn't tell Rachel the truth. We did. And 52% did, and 48 didn't. That's, that's nothing. The difference is nothing. I really don't know how many players are in this right now. I would really like to see this in two or three weeks. So what about the little things? You killed the plant with soda. You killed the plant with neglect. <laughs> no, we killed the plant with soda because it's cool. You accepted David's photograph. You didn't have Drew's money at the start of the day. Yeah. You gave Drew's money to Damon. You returned Drew's money to him. You donated Drew's money. You kept Drew's money. Who did this? Really? <laughs> You visited the north at the hospital. Of course, I like that almost all the people did the same as I did. With everything. <laughs> you visited them. We could have not visited them. Sparred with Drew over putting. <laughs> you played tabletop with Mikey. I think we did the, we took the wrong answer um, when we talked to him in the end. Then he was like, with the feel better. He was like, well, no, I'm, 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 just leave me now. You didn't donate to the firefighters fund. Do we have any money to donate? I don't really think so. I didn't even see this. Alright. You revealed to Damon that Thunder was the snitch. You convinced Damon that Sheldon was the snitch. Oh shit. You convinced Damon that Gerald was the snitch. Alright. No, I didn't want to put him on there. I liked the dude. Rachel didn't meet her mother, Rachel met her mother. Oh. How is that possible? I really wanted that outcome. Maybe we could have convinced her mother in the talk we had with her. I fucked that one up. I would have really liked to see her meet her mother. Oh well, but yeah, most people fucked up. I don't know if this is... Uh, two or three people or more. Well, probably more since there's already... There are five answers every... <laughs> with, with all of them having a percentage, so... At least five. No, it gotta be more. It gotta definitely be more. Alright. Well. That was it. Let's see if there's any... Any... Um, preview of the next game, but well, first... I would like to end this. Um, I really enjoyed this. I enjoyed Life is Strange, the first game. I enjoyed this one. It's a little bit sad that there are only those three episodes. I would have liked a lot more, like I said before. I really want to have more backstory on this. But I'm on the other side. I'm really looking forward to the next episode coming out, the extra episode with Max and Gloria's kids. So looking forward to that, I say that I enjoyed it a lot and if you did as well hit the like button down below leave me a comment and then I will see you again in the next video and in a few weeks in the next episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. See ya!